there's pressure to get these kids guilty. And even if they're guilty of blame that they didn't do this and that, I hope, you know, that the truth comes out. When I first read the story, there wasn't a lot of substance to the article. Two high school football players had been charged just a couple of paragraphs about these two boys, and that was it. I thought, this is nuts because that town is so entrenched in their football team. This is big news. So that's when I started snooping around. I had never seen a case constructed like this. That many people who have some information. This was a sexual assault with teenagers, and the cell phones told the story. We had photos. We had 400,000 text messages. It was on Twitter, actually. Song of the Night raped me. Some people deserve to be peed on. Just the complete lack of empathy, that was what was so frightening. I mean, it was all out there. You're always going to get two very different sides, but this was just at another level. We didn't know exactly what happened, but we knew there was a lot of defensiveness about it. Uh, I just didn't understand it at all, I, because I don't think it's something that doesn't occur in other cities and states and counties all over. If teachers knew about it, if coaches knew about it, if a principal knew about it, if parents knew about it, why was nothing done about that? And the question was, is this football town, you know, putting its daughters at risk by protecting its sons in a situation like this? <laughs> 